Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Stone and this is your spelling sort for the week. You need your workbook, your workbook, uh, your workbook page, your sort envelope, and your colored pencils in orange, green, red, and purple. So if you don't have those things, you need to go get those and start the video again. Um, however, if you do have them, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you'll notice that there are four different uh, categories, columns this week. Uh, we will not be having a sorting section on your test this week. It'll be just straight spelling words. So there will no, not be sorting, but I still want to go through the words because I think it helps you remember them um, if you can see a pattern and, and things like that. So I do want to go through the sort. You're still going to turn the sort in on Tuesday of your spelling test, but on your test we will just be doing uh, straight spelling and not um, the sorting part. So the very first word I want you to find is I want you to find the word distance. The very first column that we're doing has the S sound, but it is going to be spelled with a C-E on the end of the word. Now, I don't know if you if you see that little bitty uh, dash in front of the C-E. When you see that dash like that, that's going to tell you where in the word it's going to come. And so since that dash is before the C-E and there's not another dash after it, and that means it's going to come on the very end of the word. So you're going to have this sound on the end of the word, but it's going to be spelled with a C and an E. So find the word distance. After you find the word distance, um, I want you to take your orange colored pencil and I want you to highlight the C E at the end of that word that makes the S sound. All right. Now, I want you to go through the words that you have left, and I want you to try to find all of the words that have the C-E on the end that makes the S sound, like in distance. All right? So go ahead and stop the video, find your words, and then come back when you're ready. All right. Now that you have found all the words that you need, you should have found office, sentence, practice, police, and science. All of those words make the S sound on the end, but the S sound is spelled with a C and an E. So after you find all the words, remember they don't have to go in that order, all right? They just have to be in that column. Um, you can go ahead and glue them down if you want to, or you can, since we're not practicing the sort, sorting part and stuff, I would suggest you just go ahead and glue them down. Um, after you glue them down, I want you to take your orange colored pencil and I want you to highlight all the C-E's in orange at the end of those words that makes the S sound. All right, let's move on to column two, the green column. We're making the S sound, but it is going to be spelled with an S-S. And where is it? You can tell by that little dash. The dash comes before the S-S and there's nothing after it. So that means it's going to come at the end of the word. So we're looking for the s sound spelled with two s's at the end of a word. So the very first word I want you to find is I want you to find the word actress. All right. If you'll notice, actress has the s sound and it's spelled with two s's at the end of the word. So go ahead and take your green colored pencil and highlight the two s's at the end of that word. Like I said before, you can go ahead and glue it down. You're not going to be practicing the sorting part um, for your test. You're just going to be spelling straight words, so you can glue them down if you want to. All right. Look at the remaining words that you have left, and I want you to find all the words that have the S sound spelled S-S at the end of the word as an actress. When you're finished, come back, and we'll see if you're right. Okay, now that you're back, you should have found the words compass, address, possess, princess, and express. If you'll notice, all of those have the s sound at the end of the word spelled S-S. So go ahead and glue them down and then take your green colored pencil and highlight the S-S at the end of each one of those words. It follows the S-S pattern. All right, two columns left. Let's do the red column next. The example that they give you is budget. Now, I want you to make sure that you notice it makes the j sound. 
All right, the GE together makes the J sound. But if you look in front of the GE, you'll notice there's no hyphen. So that means that that J sound can come anywhere in the word. It doesn't have to be on the end. It doesn't have to be in the beginning. It could be in the middle, wherever. That's what that hyphen, that little dash means. If there's nothing there, then that can be found anywhere in the word. So the very first word I want you to find is I want you to find the word midget. All right. It has the J sound, G-E, put together to make the J sound. So after you glue it down, go ahead and highlight G-E in red that makes the j sound. All right, you should have very few choices left, but these are the two hardest columns, okay? So you have to make sure that you're looking for the GE, okay? But look at the next column. Over there, we're looking for an AGE. So make sure that if you have an AGE word in this column, it's in the wrong column, okay? So go ahead and find the words that have the j sound spelled G-E. Just be very, very careful. Don't glue them down until we check them. All right, now that you've found all of your words, you should have found gadget, arrange, challenge, and surgeon. I think surgeon's probably a pretty tough word for you to remember, um, but surgeon. It has the G-E that makes the J sound. And you'll notice it's anywhere in the word. It can be kind of in the middle. It can be at the end, close to the end. But it makes the J sound spelled with G-E. So go ahead and take your red colored pencil and highlight all the G-E's in those words. All right, you have the remaining words should all fit in your purple column. And you should have village, package, message, garbage, luggage, courage, and manage. It is the A-G-E sound, but it makes the I-J sound, I-J sound. And you'll notice that dash, all right? It comes before A-G-E, and there's nothing after it. So that means it's going to be at the very end of your word. So we're specifically looking for A-G-E words. Okay, now that you have them all in that column, I want you to take your purple colored pencil and highlight all the AGEs at the end of that word. All right. So remember, this week there is no sorting on your test. It's going to be straight spelling. So you need to know how to spell the words. Okay. So I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you at school.